Can you explain NAV? I certainly can. Uh, uh, I think Brian would probably be better. You want to do it, Brian? You want me to do it? Sure. So uh, we have to calculate. First test question, Philip, is we have to calculate it at least once per business day, right? Saturday and Sunday aren't business days. Uh, the NAV plus the sales charge equals the pop. And we're always doing business based on the next calculation of the NAV. Very testable. That's called forward pricing. And I will give Brian his whiteboard to explain NAV. This is what my cocktail glass looks like on Friday evening. Glass with ice cubes. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I, I, I've had cocktails with Brian. I was going to be, you know, uh, a jerk and say, no, I've seen your cocktail glass. It doesn't yeah, look like I, I don't. I don't put ice in my cocktail. Anyway, this is a mutual fund, a pool I know, I know. of like investments. It. And just like Dean said, at the end of each day, we have to count up the value of all of those assets. Let's say it's $12 million, a very small number for a mutual fund. Mm -hmm. And the mutual fund encounters expenses throughout the day, which they get to deduct. So let's say there's $2 million in expenses. This is $12 million total assets. So the difference, right, just subtract those, is $10 million in net assets. Now, here I am, Joe Sixpack who own shares in this mutual fund and say, well, that's great. How much do my shares are, how much are my shares worth? So we then take all of the shares that are outstanding. And just for sake of ease, let's say there's a million shares outstanding. So we have 10 million in net assets divided by 1 million shares. That would make my share and everybody else's share worth $10 per share. That is the NAV per share. As Dean just said, we then add a sales charge to that when we buy because you and I are not in this business for philanthropic reasons. We <laughs> like to pay. So we add a sales charge to that. Oh, let's say 75 cents. So that we then have to pay what's known as the public offering price of $10.75. Uh, yes, goes. I would I actually know too, Philip. The main thing that makes NAV go up and down is the price of the securities in the portfolio going up and down. So people kind of get confused sometimes about whether redemption or additional investments affect the NAV. They do not. What affects the NAV is the value of that portfolio going up or down. The other thing I would know is the max you can charge as a sales charge is eight and a half percent. So Brian has a seven and a half percent sales charge there. The perfectly OK, but the max would be eight and a half. This formula is on the 65. There a you lot go. of people get this question. There you go.